Hi guys, I'm Miss Jessica Nutrisong Montessori, and today we're gonna learn how to make some different bugs or insects using Play-Doh. So you should have a small amount of Play-Doh in your container, and that's all we need. So let's get that out, and we're just gonna learn how to use our fingers and our fine motor skills to roll and shape the Play-Doh into different insects. Okay, so let's get started. I just made this Play-Doh, it's still really warm and soft, so it's going to be easy to form. Okay, so I'm going to break a little piece off, and I'm going to see how it feels in my hands. I'm going to roll it, wow, it's really soft and it feels like it's ready to be rolled into a worm. So I'm going to put it down on the table, and I'm going to use my hand, kind of like a rolling pin. And I don't need any tools. I can just use my hand. So I'm rolling it back and forth until I have a long shape like this. But it's not long enough yet, so I'm going to use two hands now and my fingertips to gently roll it around the table back and forth. So because I'm pressing down gently, it's getting longer. If you press harder, it's a little bit longer. So now I have a really long piece and I can shape it into a worm. So I'm gonna move it around the table and now it looks like a wiggly worm in the garden. Okay, so now I'm gonna break off another piece. Let's see if we can make a caterpillar. What do you think we would need to make a caterpillar? We would need a few round balls that are the same size. So let's try to do that. We're gonna break off little pieces, roll them in your fingertips, or roll them down on the table like this, until you have a little ball. And then use your pinching fingers and pinch off another piece and press it together with your fingertips and roll it on the table. And then form it again with your fingertips and then connect it to the other ball. Now we have two. Break off another piece Pinch it together with your fingertips. Roll it on the table. And then connect it to the second ball. So now we have three. Let's add one more. Break off a piece. Pinch it together. Roll it on the table and connect it. Now I have a caterpillar. I could add legs, I could add antennas. You guys can get creative and add different parts. Let's see what a little antenna would look like. Here's a little piece that I've rolled. Stick it on his head. We need a little tiny piece. Pinch it together. Roll it with your fingertip and stick it on his head. Now he has antennas. Very cute. Okay, so I was thinking about an ant. Hmm, how can we make an ant? I think I could use this tiny little piece. Break some pieces off. And let's start sticking them together to make an ant. You just have to close your eyes sometimes. Think about how an ant looks in your imagination. And then use your own ideas too. I was just pinching this together and it reminded me of a snail. So maybe we can make some snails or slugs. A slug would be pretty fun to make. 
I'm just using my fingertips like this and pinching pieces together. So here I've made a slug. Okay. So there's so many different types of bugs we could make. We could make butterflies, snails, slugs, ants, caterpillars. So you guys come up with some bugs too. And remember, you just need a small amount. You don't need a whole bunch and you don't need any tools. So that's the fun part. You can use all of your fine motor skills to do this. So you guys have fun with that. And then when you're finished, don't forget to put your Play-Doh back into your container so that it doesn't dry out. Especially if it's homemade, it doesn't last as long as the store-bought kind. So let's put everything back in our container when we're done so that we can use it again next time. Goodbye, worm. Have fun with that, guys. Bye.